this is a message from the Syrian High Council. Although we exist in a non-dual, non-physical state of consciousness, we are not omniscient. We are not the one source all. Always remember this when discerning whether our messages are relevant for you in your present moment. We want to talk about the rules of the game. The rules of the game are the collective agreements by which you allow your consensus reality to operate. We want you to know that the rules can be changed at any time. It is like when children play tag or when friends play Monopoly. When children play tag, sometimes one player will yell out a new type of tag with slightly different rules. If all the children like the new rules and agree, then everyone cheers and they begin a new version of the game. When a group of friends play Monopoly, they can agree to play by the rules printed in the book. Or they can make up their own house rules. House rules work well when everyone agrees. If one player does not agree, an argument usually ensues. If you don't like someone's house rules, you might decide never to play Monopoly with them again and only play with people who agree with your preferences, with your house rules. Or you can play and have fun anyway, even if the rules are not exactly to your liking. There is no right or wrong solution here. It is only personal preference. These same principles apply to your individual realities. You can change the rules of the game. After thinking about this for a while, you might wonder whether you can only change the rules of the game so far or so much. You will ask, what about the laws of the universe? It is true that your universe has a set of agreed upon laws. You have spent many soul cycles learning that you can break those agreements, but that doing so brings consequences. These consequences are what many of you call karma. Although you may choose to break the laws of the universe, you typically do not break them intentionally because you can have concluded, after long experience, that it isn't usually worth it. It is like signing a legal contract in one of your societies. Nothing is physically stopping you from breaking the contract, but if you do break the contract that you signed, you could face fines, persecution, or imprisonment. That being said, sometimes the that being said, sometimes the terms of the contract are so distasteful that you would choose to break the contract and face the consequences anyway. Sometimes breaking the contract serves a greater purpose. We see no right or wrong in the breaking of your contracts. We see only choice and its consequence. On a cosmic level, this is what you have learned about during your descension cycle. You broke agreed upon laws so that you could descend into the lower spirals of consciousness. You did this for great purpose, and that purpose includes creating the perpetual motion of energy that allows the continued existence of the one source all. And yourself. But that is a topic of discussion for another transmission. What is most relevant here is that you are now in your ascension cycle. You no longer need to break the agreed upon laws that govern your universe in order to go where you want to go or be what you want to be. We want you to know that it is now possible for you to edit the rules of the game. Although it was always possible for you to do this, for a long time in your experience, it was extremely difficult and often unfeasible to do so. Now it is exponentially easier for you to change the rules of the game and you are already noticing this. You do not need to concern yourselves over much with what the laws of the universe might be. As long as you are nav navigating your life from your soul, you will not accidentally mess anything up. You might have a list of universal laws that you have learned from various spiritual traditions. These laws are all true on one level or another from one perspective or another, but they do not need to be functionally true for you. They do not need to be functionally true for you. You are able to choose which rules you use to play the game of your life in your reality. So you don't need to worry about what other people say the rules are, and this includes the rules passed down to you by higher dimensional beings who seem so much better informed from your perspective. All you need to do is focus on the rules that govern your reality your game, your life. You do not need to codify or forcibly implement these new rules. You simply start practicing them. You simply start living them. If you want to play a game where all the participants are seeking joy, then wake up in the morning and shout, let's play the game of joy. Then proceed through your day seeking joy in every moment. Make that the most important rule in your reality. Choose to play by that rule with every breath. 
People walking by will see you playing. They will think that your game looks incredibly fun and they will ask if they can play with you. You can play with them for a while, you can play with them for a long time, or you can simply show them how you play the game of joy and then send them on their way. There is great depth to the art of modifying the rules of the game. With practice, you can change the way your game reality looks. You can change the way it sounds. You can change its structures. You can change how everything you perceive and interact with in your reality is. And you do not need to worry about what the greater laws of the universe might be. Just like every family plays Monopoly using their own house rules, no matter what rules are printed in the book, you too can create your own rules of the game to govern how you experience your reality.